Hello Year 3, so this is part 2 of uh, creating things in Scratch. We started making our game the other day. Here we are, the cat's eating the apple. Okay, now we're going to make it a bit more complicated. So, the first thing we want to do is to go to variables and we're going to make a scoreboard, so we're going to call it score. Oh, try it again. Score. Okay. And that gives us this over here. So we just go to variables, make variable, click that, and type in what we want to call it, and it comes up over here. Okay. And what we want to happen is when the apple gets eaten, the score changes. So over here, the apple is going to random position. What, uh, so over here, when it touches the sprite, touches it, it goes to a random position. We also want to set variable and change it by one. Let's see what happens. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, here we go, we have to change this to score. And now let's try. There we go, and you can see up here now my score is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so that's the first test. Can you get the score to change? I don't, I mean, if I start the green button again, I want the score to be 0. So I can get set put it over here and let's see if that works there you go score zero and we can start getting some points again if you're not sure pause the video go back and watch it again just need to make your apple sprite look like this basically use these bits of code um, and then next what we're going to do is try and do something really clever so we want to have an if we're going to go to operators and use this one here that says equals 50 change the 50 to 10 so if score equals 10 we're going to set size to 80% and let's see what happens if that does that oh, let's put forever Ten, and it gets a little bit smaller okay and then we want to copy all that and when the score gets to 20 we want it to be even smaller so let's get to 20 now Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, there we go. It got even smaller. Okay, so you can keep making it get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And then at the beginning, we want to have not that one set size to hundred at the beginning, so it's back to normal. Okay, and that's our game. So it gets a little bit harder because the apple gets smaller. It's quite a complicated one, so if you pause the video if you need to, stop and watch it again, or try your best to copy what's on this in the middle here and put that in, and then you'll be able to watch the game. Don't forget to watch the first video.
to help you on your way. Okay, best of luck. See how you get along. Super lots of dojos for anyone who manages to finish the Apple game with the Apple getting smaller and a scoreboard.